This video highlights some of the new and updated features of D2L Learning Environment 10.5.6. Several usability improvements have been made to the Awards tool. The My Awards and Awards navbar items have been reduced to a single Awards navbar item. With this migration to a single navbar item, the My Awards link no longer appears in the navbar, the Awards link remains in the navbar, or a new Awards link can be found where the My Awards link previously existed. And links to My Awards automatically redirect to the new Awards Management page. Usability improvements have been made to the Class List Awards page. Instructors can now sort by Awards Leaders, Last Name, and First Name. Also, on both the My Awards and View Available Awards pages, Instructors can search for awards by org unit name, and learners can search by course name. Users are no longer required to navigate to the course to view the awards associated with that course. Learners can now see their awards when viewing their own profile page and card. Previously, users could only see awards belonging to other people on their respective profiles. Also, a number of improvements have been made to awards certificates. Templates and icons have an increased maximum file size. Generated certificate PDF files follow a more human-readable naming convention. An additional default template has been added with alternative styling and information. And default templates now use the full name replace string instead of the first name and last name replace strings. Changes have been made to Brightspace Platform's browser support. Microsoft Internet Explorer 9 is no longer supported. Internet Explorer 10 and 11 are in maintenance mode. Microsoft Edge web browser is now supported. Previous versions of Safari, including Safari 6, 7, and 8, are now in maintenance mode. And the latest version of Safari is now supported. A new View Copy Course History page is now accessible from the Admin Tools menu. This page allows administrators to filter through a data grid to view course copying events. The data can be filtered by source, destination, and date range. The Quizzes and Surveys tool event log pages now check user permissions before displaying learner IP addresses. When a user views a Quizzes event log, or a survey's event log, they are provided with information about the learner's quiz or survey attempts. To ensure greater privacy and security, these pages check user information privacy permissions. The option to show IP addresses is available only to users with the CIP addresses permission enabled at the org level. New release condition types that support the NOT operator have been added to D2L Learning Environment. This feature implements PI items D126 and D2184. NOT operator release condition types support or identify users who have not completed course items, and they can be used anywhere release conditions are supported in D2L Learning Environment. New release condition types that support the NOT operator include incomplete checklist, incomplete checklist item, competency not achieved, learning objective not achieved, content topic not visited, no discussion post authored in topic, no submission to Dropbox, no grade score, no complete quiz attempt, and no complete survey attempt.